go on like a what a freak at tour. I'm a baby adult. I feel like I need to like really talk about that because it is a whole experience. So right now I'm up like six sets. You know, like just dip me, Lord, dip me. I need whatever this is on me to get off of me. So yes. Oh my gosh, this hair is so long. I love it, but baby, I be sitting on it. Hey you guys, today is May 2nd and it is Jim's birthday. If you don't know who Jim is, that's my boyfriend. Now I'm working from home today. I just got back from Marshalls because I had some stuff to take back. And I found this cute little trinky dinky thingy. It's not a trinket. It's definitely something. So these are, I don't know if y'all have heard of these. I have, but I haven't tried them. Um, You probably are the same, but these are like those gel strips. So you place them on your finger. You cure them. Or hold on, I think you cut them and then you cure them with like a, a lamp. But look how cute. I liked it because it was the bandana style. It's so cute and I wasn't sure, like I wanted to open this so bad in the store because I wanted to know if I was going to get all the colors like on the box or if it was just pink. But all of the colors are in there. They're so cute. So let me give you a little tip though. So um, I actually, like I said, I knew about these gel strips. I just haven't really done anything or gotten any of them. I never really seen any styles that just like were speaking to me. But this, of course, come on guys, color, a pattern, a print, yeah. This was definitely something I was actually interested in. So I actually also have acrylic nails or like tips. Um that I got from like Amazon, probably like during the pandemic when everybody was doing their own nails. So I'm thinking to do this on those versus my natural nails because I don't really want to wear my natural nails. Um, but I would love to try to like incorporate these. So I think I could get away with putting these on some tips and then putting the tips under the lamp and then applying the tips like I would apply press on nails. Um, also, yeah, basically just gave y'all the recipe for your own DIY press-on nails without having to have the skill set of a tech. So, if you find cute gel strips, you could possibly be making your own nails, baby. I'm gonna definitely try, so if you want to see me fail or succeed first, be my guest. I actually probably will do this like I, I might do this today because as you can see my press-ons that I had on are falling off and I usually try to save them but baby I just be letting them fall off and I just go get me something else I'd be like all right I'm a time for a new set like at this point because to try to keep them and find the right side like nah we just gonna put on a whole new set so right now I'm up like six sets I stay just picking them up. Like right, look over here. Have these sitting over there. Um, these were kind of impulsive because they're not really my style, but this was kind of like impulsive because of my birthday and they were like islandy. Um, and then I got some French tip ovals. I don't know how sturdy these nails are. They kind of giving me Dollar Tree. So I almost didn't get them, but I just love how barely there the French is. And I feel like that's a good French for someone of my complexion. Cause not all French colors work for my complexion, but I thought this would work. It show, it really does, it looks good. But it is pretty plastic. Um, these are pretty sturdy, but they're definitely not of the caliber of like, well, who's to say? No, we'll see. How about I hold my opinion? I might end up just putting these Frenches on. But not even, girl, because like I said, I got some. I got, I'm up like six sets. Ooh. I'm up like six sets. I have like stuff to take from. And I actually, 
I love the press on nails that come with the press on tabs because I love to double up. I like to do the press on tabs plus the um, glue, plus a nice prep on the nail with like a drill. So yeah, we need to put some nails on immediately because I'm over here picking my nails. Oh yeah, I'm gonna finish up with work for the day. I'm really just waiting on Jim to get back home because he said he's supposed to be working a short day and then we can get into some things. I don't know what he wants to do, but I just want to be free. So I'm just trying to make sure like all the must haves are done because I'm not going to be sitting here till five, even if it wasn't his birthday. That vacation did me in y'all like it inspired the right parts of me. I think we were supposed to be posting some of this content that I found. My notes. My notes will tell me. Yeah, I'm not doing none of that till next week. Starting fresh next week. I'm just doing whatever I have to do this week. Okay guys, I'll check back in with y'all a little later. Okay, we have made it to May 3rd, it's Friday. I had the day off. And uh, we're getting ready to go hit the town. I don't really know what we're about to do. Probably a bar, um, and if I know, like I know, it'll be Tyga, but we'll see. Um, I look so cute. I had on a different shirt earlier, but I switched it up because it's a little chilly. Um, let's get into my new piece from my mom. She snapped. I'm wearing it short so I can kind of, yeah. She snapped for the 27th birthday. I'm just tying my hair down. Um, I don't have a good mirror to show y'all what I'm wearing for real. I can get some pictures but I thrifted these pants from um, this consignment shop so cute I think they're originally like made in Brazil like you got to get into the detail when I saw them I wanted them hold on my phone's ringing okay yeah I'm on, I'm on the way right now okay yeah Anyway, so yeah, I got my girl here with me. Oh, I was telling y'all about my pants. She's so tired and so sick of our shit. Yeah, so, and then I just have on this like shirt. That's like a cropped, just a cropped shirt that I'm pretty sure is Wild Fable. So that's from Target. And then I'm just gonna wear gold sandals. But yeah, I had on a different shirt earlier. It's like a even like a little bit even more cropped, and it had like a cute little tie detail here. Um, but yeah, it's a little chilly out, so I just switched it up, made it a little more casual than sexy. And we're gonna go out just for a little bit. It's tar season, so we popping out. We seeing what the vibe is talking about. Sunday is Cinco de Mayo. I'm supposed to be popping out Sunday. So we just getting into the vibe. But I finally got to wear these pants. That's really what this is about. They fit so good. Like, I think I was telling y'all that I think these are originally made in Brazil. Um, the tag is what tells me. And then even how it shows its sizing. So. Yeah, they are very much like something. I don't know what to call it, but yeah. So this is how I've styled them for now. I'll see y'all later.
morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is May 7th and I am up an hour earlier than normal, which you probably could tell. It's 8.25. I actually was on time. I just got stuck behind a train, like literally right before my turn. Yeah, I'm just um getting ready. I'm just getting myself together to go up to the warehouse it's right there i'm parked right in front of it oh you probably can see it yeah it's right there that's the warehouse um here i've been here i just was stuck behind that train yeah just checking my email like y'all i'm a baby adult i feel like i need to like really talk about that because it is a whole experience because i'm 27 and you know just learning some things that people already have figured out um so that poses its own challenges so yeah but it's okay i have seen this pattern enough to understand that this is part of my life path and like i'm a late adopter and i am a late bloomer so it's just part of my life path this is why the plot goes as it goes because that is the role that i play and this is why we do these vlog dumps because it is a way of literally literally like helping me not take life too seriously that's why i miss vlogging because it's documented but it also helps me not take life too seriously because not even too seriously but just understanding that like this is this episode of life it will come and it will go and like let's just ride it out but we're humans and we're we're scared of being vulnerable and i don't want y'all to know stuff i don't want y'all to know stuff but and, and and if i create a safe space it should be safe i'm thirsty okay oh and then i walked out the house with my crocs on so I'm gonna check my truck and see if I got any shoes in there, but I don't even think I do. And then I don't even think I packed my sneakers for the gym. That's how you know. It's just a tad too early. I just needed like 30 more minutes. I needed 30 more minutes to gather myself to have everything I need. I did bring you guys, which usually you guys are the last thing on my mind. So that's a good sign. It's a really good sign. Pretend like we work here. Put my badge on so people don't look at me and be like, who are you and what are you here for? Bitch, I work here. Bitch, bitch, bitch. If I didn't have a reason to be here, bitch, you think I'd be here at 8.30, bitch? Hell no, bitch. I got a life. Be cute. I feel like my face is a little ashy, but... Again, I needed the I needed I needed 30 more minutes. Like I didn't get to do my edges. <laughs> I didn't get to do my but I did put some loose on the top and I tied my hair down. I'm missing an earring. My face like I just I look like I need to wake up a little bit more. And then yeah, I walked out the house with Crocs on. So that's the best I got to give. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead show face <laughs> one earring let's just go with the side okay peace waiting on my edges go down the middle all right we just went down the middle just down the middle it's not that big video today it's down the middle okay bye smooches love y'all talk to y'all later We should go to the fucking library. That should be one of the things we do. Just 
This is the way I see you in my dream. Papa Bati Flash, 100 pictures all. Coming on here to say really quick, I'm so tired of crying every day. I'm tired of crying every day. Ugh. I'm so tired of crying every day. I think I'm gonna have a good day. I think I got it out of my system. I think I've talked myself up enough. I think, you know, I talk to God, I pray, I calm myself. And before you know it, it's a new day and new tears. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I need. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know. I don't know. I have some ideas. But I feel like me having ideas about what's wrong with me is partly what's wrong with me. But I've kind of like graduated from... What literally is heightened about me and like a gift given to me. I've stopped trivializing those things. Like they're just a part of my day to day. They are. They've proven themselves time and time again. I don't need to trivialize them anymore. They exist. They exist in my reality. And they play a big role in my life. Like my very high sense of self discernment, awareness stuff like that like it can be exhausting being me but it saved me in a lot of ways too so you know we gotta take the good with the bad and so with the bad i have to find what better ways of coping in this world hi guys good morning it is may 10th um I'm not gonna lie guys, I have not been feeling my best and it's really ironic how May is um, Mental Health Awareness Month and it's my mental health that I'm not feeling the best with these days. Um, I don't know if you guys have been able to tell but I kind of been hinting at some of it a little bit. But yeah, anyway, it's Saturday. Um, I have already had my morning mental breakdown. I don't know what it is about mornings. Mornings are really hard for me. I wake up with a lot already on my spirit and it just comes out of me randomly and like in spurts all morning long. Like, and then, you know, I like get to a place where I have I don't know I have given it enough time I've reached out to enough people to kind of like calm my spirit but it takes so long in the mornings especially if I don't have like somewhere to be something to do like for sure for sure and I'm just kind of like making the day up as I go it's a recipe for disaster so I've just got done with that <laughs> Because it really is a task. Like, it's crazy that I am myself right now. And that's why I'm having, like, deeper discussions with my mom. And just, like, with my boyfriend. And just things like that. Like, just recognizing that I need help. I have been regulating and, like, healing and understanding and processing my fight with anxiety up till now like once i recognized what it was and like knew and put a name to it but even prior to that i'm sure i've been navigating this for a while um but i've just been kind of doing it myself i journal i strengthen my relationship with god i pray i um decompress i you know what i'm saying like there's i've i have done the things that i know to do and i am a very high discerning person and very aware with myself so i'm constantly in reflection and like wanting to understand what's you know what's going on with me i'm very in tune with myself but i think that that 
causes a challenge as well like i can't also be my therapist you know and so um i'm here to say like i need help like i i just said that out loud yesterday i was just like i need help i need help like that's just what it comes down to because when i do get down and am in the lows i'm like i said i've been pulling myself up out of those things for as long as i know how for as long as i know and how and for as long as i know that's what i want to say <laughs> yeah. um but i now live out of my parents home i am with my man I am working full time, like with no sight of, you know, just being like, fuck it, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I am in a different part of life where things are a little bit more constant and more consistent. And because of that, there's less of like moments of escape and pauses and breaks and whatnot. And with these new levels of like consistency and constant of life i need help because i can't be everything for myself i can't be everything for anyone else and other people can't be everything for me so i have to find help i have to and i saw this tweet because girls were asking like um they were just like women in their 30s like what is your advice for women in their 20s whatever like that and i think that i think they were i think one of them was even more like specific like people nearing 30 like i'm 27 but it's definitely different from being 22. so um one lady was like yeah like basically like it ain't a game like you are not a game life is not a game not even not even she wasn't even really harping on life she really was harping on women because that was the question like what should women be doing and she was like it's not a game like you cannot play about you anymore like going to the gym cannot be a thing that you kind of do it's got to be something you do investing in yourself has to be something you do like you are your like you are important you are your investment you matter you come first like it just like that's kind of the message i got also with the download i got like from just what i was feeling when i turned 27 the feeling that came over me i tweeted it. i said i feel so feminine i feel like the most woman i've ever felt i'm i'm in roles that are feminine and like taking up space that is feminine and you know and learning that space too because not knowing i got a lot of masculine energy y'all i am an alpha female like i'm very strong-minded like and it's i see it in my relationship because i found myself trying to compete with him just because off the strength of like because i know i could do it too you know but like it's not it's not called for it's not called for no one rang your bell no one asked you know but like i have control issues i have just different things y'all i'm like i grew up alone i'm not the only child but i grew up alone i just it's i got i need help i need help i need help and it's okay to need help but i need help so i'm smiling right now y'all but i swear y'all can look at my phone like i've been going through it and my mom i just love her she's the best mom ever that's why god gave her to me but on a better note i am trying to turn this day around for the better i kind of made a plan for myself i think i want a smoothie or a slushy from sonic and then i'm going to go take a swim um initially i thought I, and I might still do this like I was like okay I'm gonna go to the library and get me like a new book you know like just go to the library because I'm like what can I do that doesn't consist of money because at this very moment my account is another reason why I am not okay okay um but yeah so <laughs> that's why I said it's so ironic that 
this is happening to me during this month when I was feeling so much energy to vlog and get back on this horse. I'm telling y'all, God wants you to be obedient. He's going to make you be obedient. He's been wanting me to use my voice for a while, for a lot of different things. But I'm starting to feel like the series is going to be called Growing Pains. Because that's just what it is. I keep telling y'all, I'm a late bloomer and a late adopter. So, I'm going through a lot of things that I know people go through or have already gone through. But at my age of 27, it's a little conflicting because I'm not young. Like, 21. So sometimes I feel like the responses I have to like inconveniences or things that are out of my control, things that are just like stress, are not age appropriate, are not, they're not sustainable. I'll just say that, like I have to find better ways. I have to get some assistance for myself. That's kind of like where I am right now mentally. And so today I am done with this morning. So I'm like, all right, so what can we do that doesn't really run us anything, you know? So I'm thinking it's really been hot in Tampa. Like we are getting freaking 90 degree weather in May. Please pray for us this summer. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm thinking like maybe definitely go take a pool dip because like just a dip, you know, like just dip me, Lord, dip me. I need whatever this is on me to get off of me. So I just need like a little dip. But also I just feel like the cold water, just anything that has me decompressing because I have been overloaded, harboring, full of stress, just like waterworks without knowing where it's coming from so that's the plan for today um sorry to talk y'all head off y'all know i'm a, i can i could be a little talking head i can be a little talking head but i prefer it that way because then we have things to talk about It's just productive, but calm, quiet. Um, it's you know, it's kind of comforting, but more so just like productive, a space where you can kind of clear your head. Um, it's free. Everyone's kind, nice. Like it's a, it's really an escape for real, for real. Cause y'all know the world we live in. Like there is not a lot of escapes anymore especially that aren't tied to drinking or spending money so i am about to become 
the number one ambassador for the library because I actually been feeling this way since like last year but I struggle to get to the library and I want to do better I'm home two days out the week and I've realized that I need a place to go because my home is smaller than my home when I was living at home so I need alternative environments home can't be work even if it's just the two days home can be work if I'm doing a DIY um and some days home can be work but I like that I have the option of um the library and I actually did it for the first time Thursday which I think y'all saw and I enjoy myself so I'll be doing that more last year I was like way amazed like blown away by like how much the library has stayed up to date they have everything you know how you think you need amazon something something and you need a kindle you need all this for like audio no the library has it for free download on your phone yeah so i'm about to get like let me just be quiet i'm gonna just be quiet i um really do love the library and i see a lot of value in it and um it deserves some love um and i i honestly I honestly don't even feel like it doesn't get the love that it deserves like not at all it's just it's a generational thing and it's an era um a lot of moms and and generational still but you'll see a lot of moms at the library you'll see college students or just students like of any age at the library obviously because you need access to resources like that certain people have different means and attend different colleges and then just um people who just don't have access to things it's a resource first and foremost but then it's a community it can be and um mothers tend to find community at the library a lot because they have a lot of kid events and they read books on like every day at a certain time and like you know stay at home moms who need to keep their kids busy and just be productive i remember my mom taking me to the library often like on the weekends and then like even schools and after schools and and summer camps would use the library as a field trip or an outing as well and in Tallahassee like if you know you know we only like we have hella libraries but the main library downtown is like multiple stories and like they have themed rooms and like it's really an experience so it's really just taking me back because i'm just like really enjoying myself at the library um and i want to maximize all the things that they offer to me and i want to highlight and big up the damn library like who it's so much free sh out here like i'm about to go on like a what a free sh at tour i give away too much in a row okay um, that's a little fork in a row but that's okay that's okay we made it for happy hour so we still winning i'll just download the app that ain't no problem so sonic order a head app because i only have some money on um apple pay right now um so i'm still gonna look at the menu see what it's giving yeah my stomach is growling so we <laughs> We may have to eat, but I don't want to. I don't want to, but I will have to if I'm planning to stay out and go by the pool. If I'm planning to stay out and go by the pool today, I'm going to have to eat something. But if I plan to get this, go to a store. Let me see something. Yeah, that's dead. Okay. Um, where were I? Okay, hold on. I had to figure some shit out. <laughs> um, I'm on the app though right now. Want exclusive savings? Log in. I want to create an account. I thought I just created an account. Let's create an account. 
that I know of. Okay, so the question is, do I want a strawberry limeade or do I want a slush with Sonic? I mean, with nerds. But one thing about it, I be really pissed about my slushes with nerds because the nerds don't be nerding and yeah. So I think I'm gonna lean towards a limeade. But what the? F I want a slush. Oh, oh my gosh, a limeade slush. There it is, and there it will be. And so it is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and find me the own. That's it. Find me the own. Find me the own. Strawberry limeade slush. Yeah, where you at? Guys, I did it. I got me a um, chicken slinger. Added some cheese, tomato, and lettuce. Because it comes with pickles and mayo. Um, and mustard. I added mustard. I love mustard. And then I got a strawberry limeade slush. And I actually added blue raspberry in there because that's actually my favorite slush flavor. But when I get a limeade, I like the strawberry. So... Yes. I don't understand why I'm like so like accomplished. Because I have $10 to my name to do anything. So... I'm like, success. Um, and then I'm thinking in my head, like, what can I do for my mom? Press for time, pushed up back against the wall. Like, what can I do? I have a cricket, so I'm gonna figure it out with the cricket. The only thing is, I think, like, the colors are at my mom's house. And, like, what am I going to cricket? I'm thinking a tote bag. Although, she doesn't really use it but i have a cute little idea maybe maybe okay maybe i'll do madam secretary because she's the secretary of her netball team and she's like really been like doing her big one like and i'm just proud of how she's navigating that space because if you know a leo you know that they need things and those things are people in their vicinity you know so I'm just really happy for her. Um, so I might do Madam Secretary. That's cute as hell. That way it's not like a everyday bag. But it's specific to something that's going on in her life now. It's thoughtful. And she can like put documents and stuff in there. When it does come time for those types of meetings. Because she do be having them type of meetings. And she probably should keep those things separate. And I have some unused tote bags at home. Like yeah that's what I'm about to do for my mom. Yeah, I'm figuring it out. I am on this journey to stop trivializing everything. Gift, but I don't use it in the right way. I need to channel it better. But yeah, they said my food should be ready at 3.41. So let me check in. My stall number is... What number is this? 14? My favorite number. Look at that. Why are you smiling at me? I know. I'm trying. You see me trying. I know you see me trying. Okay, homegirl just pulled up with my stuff. I meant to have the camera on, but I didn't even lose battery waiting on her. Oh, yeah, I would definitely say if you're a bot. The fuck it. Oh, you know, I forgot I put um, blue raspberry in there. I was about to get mad. <laughs> Why does my shit look like that? Anyway, that is great. Woo, that was great. Wow. Adding that blue raspberry. Wow. Mmm, this is good. Thank you, God. Amen. I'm going to ice cream for every. And wash me over under.